Welcome back to Titan Quest of Mortal Throne. It is looking more and more like the Iron Lord took this the stereotypical route of making Hades the bad guy. And we got these weird things. Fury. Hot Howlers. It sounds like all the formerly Guardian demons are all gone, replaced by these new kinds of demons. Which are doing a conquest on the living or something. Oh, these are beasts. Okay, that that is that is nasty. You die. There we go. Uh, I did not catch what they are, but they're gray. Oh. That is not a pleasant sight. Andantoranus Brute. Glad Call of the Hunt still dark working. These are the Salt Flats. Supposed to be a uh, caravan out here somewhere. I'll call the hunts no longer work. There we go. I wonder what kind of charm they dropped. It. Uh huh. Let's find the edge of the map. This is it. Okay. Let's map the edges. Okay. They have horns. These look like kind of like Tyrannosaurus Rex on, on uh, demonic possession. Made into given the Red Hulk treatment. Oh, more of these howlers. Matriarch. Why are there bone piles? This is this this is Hades. There are no physical. Pe are are there people coming down here? Considering they die in two arrows, they probably would die with one arrow. They die quicker with two. Let's see if you die. This is my test case. You don't die with one arrow. It's possible they'll die with an arrow? That might have been a really low roll, but I'd rather risk not risk it. So two arrows to kill. One arrow is not enough. Two arrows is kind of overkill. On the minions. We don't know about the uh, matriarchs. Champions. Okay. Here we're still going along the edges. Let's not get hit. By that friggin' stun wave. Whoa, something behind us. Demon's blood! They dropped demon's blood! Awesome! We need one more demon's blood. Oh, for the, the scroll. 
Yes, the scroll of Onerous. Uh, onerous. I want to say call it the Onerous Scroll. I know it's not. Okay, plot this way. Right of experience. There we go. Let's uh, clear this area. Yay! Archery. There we go. Hello. Um, look back up. Those look like something that might explode. Wardens. That didn't quite work. Those things are nasty. Oh, don't go look at me looking at me that way. So here's our caravan. And it is indeed guarded by nasty things. Let's go get our Let's go get your corpse, your grave marker first so you can recover some XP. Yes, yes indeed. It's nice to have immortality on my side. Well, we don't really know if you're immortal. We don't know what age will do to you. No. Unkillableness? Yeah, except for, you know, you can be killed. And... Okay, are they back here? Well, before we do anything else, let us uh, get my butt, my grave back. Because if I die before I get grave back, then I hello, then I lose that XP. This is only one grave marker active at a time, and you guys are. You guys were much weakened by the first time you ran across me. Nice. There's my grave. Or your grave. Okay. You keep forgetting to hold up the act that I'm real, don't, don't you? Yes, I do. I keep forgetting. Now, let's see. I wonder if I destroy this, it'll bring up another set of four. Doesn't appear to be the case. Uh huh. I don't see much in the way of actual treasures for me to use. But okay, we got the caravan destroyed. What's the what does he want us to do? Oh, he was just a guy to talk to, I think. Let's go up the center here, then we'll head back to talk to what's his name, the scoundrel. I like the fact that we're trusting someone who is a scoundrel. It might have been we might have ended up uh, destroying something belonging to the good demons. Oh, I hope not. Plains of Judgment? Yeah, we're in the Plains of Judgment. It's the uh, City of Lost Souls here. That's going to be the tower, and that's probably Elysium.
Okay, so where was this guy? Oh, there he is in the corner over there. That's one caravan that won't be seeing the end of the road. Take your reward, and don't let it be said that the Resistance does not pay its debts. I have other tasks if you're interested. That gave us a level. It has been rough on us, but we have friends. I like you, and there's someone I think you should meet, but you have to have the proper introductions. We cannot let just anyone see Cothonimus. Oh wait, forget that name. Go find the Shade, named Pylades. If he likes you, maybe you can meet our little Trojan horse. You've already given me way too much information. You're not very good at this, are you? I'm being written. I'm being written by video game engineers who have a passable but faulty understanding of mythology. There is more to our little organization than meets the eye. Stealth and cruelty can sometimes be more effective than honor and duty. I like a hero who doesn't mind getting a little dirty. Talk to Pylades. Oh! She start. <sighs> Have you read any of the Greek myths? Name a hero that didn't get a little dirty, other than Perseus. Good grief. Cunning is a major part of I of gave you a task. Hero. Whether you do it or not is up to you. See Pylades, he has more information. When you speak to Pylades, do not let on that I told you the name of our benefactor. In fact, you never spoke to me at all. When you speak to Pylades, do not let on that I told you the name of our benefactor. Okay. Let's pump all this into uh, hunting mastery. So we can try to get to that level 24. Should be able to do that next time. Ooh, trailblazing. That'll be nice. Detonate with the lure. Might be one to look into that. Okay. Uh, here we go. Where do we want this? What do you say? Immortal? I can smell your blood. I remember life. Yes, it was long ago. Talking about smelling the blood, they don't try to take it, however. Okay, I can talk to you now. Calacrates is a bleeding heart. He cares about the future of his people. I care about the future of me. I will take your help, but you have to ask yourself, what are you willing to do? If you want to continue, go see Cuthonomos. He always has a job for someone willing to do it. You will find him in the lower daemon camp. You will know him by his skin condition. The daemons expect a little chaos now and then. It warms their evil hearts. Cuthonomos uses this when he picks his battles. If a bad man does an occasional good thing, does that make him a good man? I know if a good man does a single evil thing, he becomes evil, but the reverse does not seem to be true. I try to be the fly in the food, the spoiler. And if I have a little fun while I do it, who does it hurt? Oh. That's a rather interesting thing. It actually... I'm not going to get into that. I would lose most of the video. It's too easy for me to get lost in that particular... As far as I'm concerned, what's good for the Resistance is good for me. Guthonomo shares my sentiments, I think. 
I have a feeling Kutonos lies. Huh. Of course he does. Sometimes you have to be as ruthless as your enemy if you ever hope to triumph. Kutonomos understands this. I welcome this war. And if they would let me, I would fight for the daemons. I've seen shades go over, but the daemons just lock them in cages and cart them away. So I fight for this side. I get to create a little mayhem, and the good shades think I have noble motives. I welcome this war. And if they would let me, I would fight for the daemons. I've seen shades go over, but the daemons just lock them in cages and cart them away. So I fight for this side. I get to... You're a bit of a bastard. Hello, look at you swinging your arms. You look like you have somewhere to go. Still have not opened that vault or found any indication of how to do so. What are our quests? Okay, we want the Cave of Whispers, Necromantian, which might be that thing ahead of us, somewhere in the Plains of Judgments. We have no insight source and something in the Damon camp. Okay. Wait a minute. We have six side quests now of this area. That is a huge amount. Hello. You're a different hero. You teleport. I think I've poisoned you to death. Yep. You had a sliver of life when I looked at you. Glad to see a hero that is willing to get a little dirty. You... Freak myths. Every hero gets dirty. Really. Girls were horrible, horrible people in a lot of cases. A hero was somebody who did great and terrible things, who exceeded, who achieved a great destiny, whether it was evil or, or, or good. The ones we talked about did a lot of good deeds, like uh, you know, killing the, uh, the uh, Minotaur, but we don't talk about how Theseus, you know, Seduced, betrayed, raped. Perseus was... Perseus is a little bit different, but Perseus's myth is a little bit younger. He came... I think he came from a period when they were sanitized... That myth came from a period when he, they were sanitizing things. And as part of a way to demonize uh, religion, they had the Gorgons as a... Uh, or something like the Gorgons as a uh, goddess figures. Wait, wait, we were worshipped as gods? Sort of. The something... Possibly there was a matriarchal religion that had something similar to the Gorgons, and the Gorgons are a Greek bastardized version of it to make it look evil. Hey, nice, come on at me in a line, please. They are very obliging in that manner at this time, it seems. Or were. These guys do better. These guys didn't. Lines! Lines are great! Single file, please! It makes everything so much more efficient when you come at me single file. River Fountain. We are on the Salt Flats. A Stygian Hydrogen. More of these things. Oh, 
Well, we kind of knew these were coming because uh, the uh, Stygian Lurker was one. And I think I want to come back here and check this out. It might be a big circle like the other areas have been. That very might well might be the case. Seems to be a design pattern in this level area. Wow! Talk about single file! That was awesome! Here we go, here we go. This is starting to look very much like not a diversion. Okay. Let's head back this way. Creepy shadows. Yeah, this is looking like the dead end direction. Oh. Yep. Three arrows is enough. Three arrows is probably more than enough. Three arrows is enough to kill them quickly. Besides, better more than enough than not quite enough. Yep, that's the dead end. 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 Stop now, please. What? You don't like Pink Panther? That's not your edition of it. Okay. Microsoft Flight Simulator. I forget who that is. Somebody I haven't talked to in a while. Matriarch. Oh, fudge. Point blank stun blast. I don't think it matters how close we are to it, it just, if it gets over us, it stuns us. Yeah, but point blank is really hard to avoid. Hello? Yep. I'm still running Call of the Hunt, you are all going to die. Well, they would have died without the call to hunt. Yes, but they died faster. They died before they could blink. Because they're beasts, and I do massive damage to beasts. Wahahaha. <laughs> okay. Timer done. See you in a moment.